Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Through this video, we will see hydrodissection, hydrodelineation, removal of cortex by the handpiece itself, hydroimplantation of the intraocular lens. This is a totally unedited surgery. The ocular surface has been thoroughly irrigated, applying few drops of povidone iodine. Now this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now the side port is made about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. Capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterator forceps size of the rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. Capsular rexis is done and now let us see how we can de do hydrodissection and hydrodelineation. For hydrodissection, the cannula is introduced and you have to just go under the capsule create a space, go up to the equator, near the equator and inject fluid and see the fluid wave goes from one side to the other side. We go to the other side and tap the nucleus, the fluid comes along the equator anteriorly and then we inject fluid uh, between the cortex and the nucleus and hydrodelineation happens and we can see a beautiful golden ring in this case. I tried pre-chop in this case. When hydrodelineation happens, we can easily hook the equator at the go along the uh, hydrodelineation golden ring and divide the nucleus. In this case, I have just made two heminuclei and now I have enlarged the main wound to about 3 millimeter. Now here goes the handpiece. Each heminucleus is further chopped into smaller pieces by the nucleus sustainer. You can easily support the heminucleus and chop. The nucleus is managed now epinucleus and the epinucleus comes easily. And now see how we can remove the cortex by the hand piece itself. The bevel is down or sideways and we have to be very careful at this time. We must support the posterior capsule by the ball tipped sustainer, use adequate vacuum not much. And we must develop a reflex. If we catch the posterior capsule, we should be able to stop immediately and use reflux to release the posterior capsule. So, cortical cleanup is done. There is some lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule. We can polish it anytime using the irrigating cannula only. The main wound is being enlarged to about 3.1 millimeter because I am using a B cartridge, a white bore cartridge. If we do not enlarge the main wound, usually the lens gets stuck at the main wound. If we use a C cartridge or D cartridge, the main wound need not be enlarged, but the optic gets compressed too much and sometimes the lens cracks. We go behind the lens and polish the posterior capsule by the irrigating cannula and see how beautiful cleaning happens. You can see the intraocular lens is overlapped by anterior capsular rim all around. This ensures good centration of the intraocular lens. There will be no tilt of the intraocular lens. The side port is 
closed by hydrating corneal stroma and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done using a 23G Simco cannula. The anterior chamber is nicely formed after aspirating, irrigating and aspirating the anterior chamber after a nice formation of the anterior chamber, integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.